And continuing to explore our moving lights, let's look at the beam category of parameters. Remember, that's divided into form, image, and shutter. So I'm going to clear, sneak, enter to get rid of those guys. Let's go ahead and say group 12 at full, enter. And we're going to tilt those up onto stage so that we can keep an eye on them. You can either scroll over in the ML controls or click your form shortcut button over here. And that'll take you to that category. Just like all of our other parameters, we can use our virtual encoder for zoom. We can use min or max just to really quickly adjust that. And we can home zoom to put it back to its known state. Don't forget, we can also take it to a specific value by clicking zoom 35, enter. Keep in mind that some of our parameters don't use 0 to 100. For example, zoom is using degrees. So you'll notice that my minimum level is 10. And that means that this fixture is capable of using 10 degrees. And its max is 60 degrees. So when I type something like zoom 35, I'm actually going to 35 degrees, not 35% of its travel. Continuing our tour of moving lights, let's quickly go over to the image area. And you'll notice I get my gobo attributes here. Uh, I have two gobo wheels in this particular fixture. So I can drop in something like that, maybe something like that, or clear it out. And I have a second gobo wheel that allows me access to other patterns as well. Don't forget that you have modes here as well. So for example, if you want to rotate a particular gobo, you want to set that in rotate mode, and then you can use your gobo index speed wheel to adjust what that fixture is doing. That's a little garish, so I'm going to turn that off and put us back into index mode. Just like other parts of the fixture, I can home just this category. So if I say image home, all of my gobo information will fly out, but it keeps the rest of the fixture intact, such as pan and tilt and color. The final area we want to explore is shutters. Some moving lights have shutter control, and we divide each shutter into two types of control. Each shutter has thrust and angle. So I can pull in my shutter C, which is my bottom cut on this fixture, and I can use my angle for C to adjust the rack on that shutter. Don't forget that you can also adjust the frame assembly which will rotate all of the shutters back and forth. And just like other areas of the fixture, you can home just your shutters.